Good morning and welcome back. So I was over here painting some envelopes because I'm going to cover these up and they're going to be in my journal. Um, but I don't like this orange color so I'm painting the edges and I figured why not turn my camera on since I was just painting anyway. So here you are with me while I paint. Oh, um, so these are going to be, um, I'm working on pages that are for my next coming journal. Um, and this one is going to most likely be a personal journal. Um, that was what I had intended originally, but you know, knowing me, who knows what I'm going to do. So, yeah. Anyway, so how was y'all's Thanksgiving? Uh, it is currently Black Friday for me, so I figured I would come on and get this video up for you guys. Because I think I've only got like two more videos, like pre-recorded for y'all. And they're the 20-minute videos. So y'all are going to have to let me know. Do you like the 20-minute videos? Or do you like them longer? I know that um, several people have said that they like shorter videos, but do you like them that short? Or more like... 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that type of short, if that makes sense. Um, and I'm just gluing, or gluing, I'm just painting straight over this glue. Uh, I don't care, because it's probably going to get covered up anyway. Um, but I'm just painting over the edges, and I'm just using white gesso. Uh, I got it on a paper plate right now. Makes it easy for me to just dab and go. That way I don't have too much out, but I have enough that I can cover my plate, my, not my plate, my envelope. So, oh, this is what I got for my anniversary. And it's pretty. I love it. It's so cute. And so I've been, <laughs> I've been playing with that like all week. It's kind of crazy. Um, it actually um, came in while he was at work. And it was really funny because he was like, you didn't wait for me to get home? I was like, nope. <laughs> well, because it was actually the day after our anniversary that it came in. Because I had the band. Like, the band came in the week before. But uh, the day of our anniversary, um, the watch didn't come in yet. So I had already known about it by then. And he was like, you didn't wait for me? I was like, no. I wanted to play with my new toy. And so that's a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of cool, though, because it, like, it'll remind me to stand up. Like, it hasn't yelled at me yet for, like, stand up while I'm standing up. Which I thought that that was an interesting review on the watch. Is that it will sometimes yell at you to get active while you're being active. Like, you're running around playing with the kids or whatever, and then it'll be like, you know, I think it's time to stand up and move around some. I thought that was funny, though. It hasn't done that to me. Um, I do actually very much enjoy the stand-up um, notifications, because especially when I'm in here, I forget. Like, I just, I get going with what I'm doing, and, like, honestly, in the middle of this video, it's probably going to remind me to stand up, because I've been sitting here for a minute. Um, but that's okay, because I'll just literally just stand up, and that's it. And, you know, you can go walk around, or, you know, whatever. You don't have to go walk around. It just wants you to stand, um, which is kind of cool. It also... Um, remind you to breathe, like to take a second to like focus on your breathing, which I think is really cool. Um, cause what it does is if you're taking that time to focus on your breathing, that's actually a form of meditation, which is really cool. Like that program that I was just telling you guys about that noon program I was telling you about. Um, it's actually pretty big on, you know, the, the meditation thing. I've never really known how to meditate, but, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Sorry, that was my son going out the front door. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard it or not. He wasn't too, too loud. They're, they're normally not too bad. 
I'm just going to like close a little bit. It's gesso, so it doesn't take too long to dry, but it, it's a pretty, I would say it's thin manila envelope, but it's still a manila envelope and thin or otherwise it's still pretty thick. But anyway, it will stick. It'll stick to the other side. And I know that because it's done it already. Um, and so I don't want that to be the case. So I'm going to go this way. Yeah, that way. And yeah. So I actually have six signatures for this particular journal. Um, I will be able to show you guys the journal after it's already assembled. I can't really show you the journal beforehand. Um, and it's not that I don't want to, I just, I literally can't. Like, I'm legally obligated not to. Because it was a course that I took from, uh, I can send you to the area. It's Nick the Booksmith. Um, she has courses that you can take to, oh, um, Sorry, let me reply to this real quick, otherwise she'll probably call me. Um, and of course then she's going to see this, and then she's going to be like, that was me! It's funny. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> but yeah, if, if I don't reply, she might call, and that would be fun. Um, like, I don't mind, but it'd be more like we're on a live, but we're not. Although, um, uh, I have thought about doing a live, not on my channel. I, I don't know that I'm going to do a live on my channel again. Um, but I have thought about doing them with my friend, uh, Melissa, who is uh, the one that, you know, we just did the 20 minute challenge videos. And, um, so we were talking about doing lives together on her channel. Um, so that might be something to look forward to. I mean, it's definitely not anything that's finalized. It was just something that we were talking about in passing conversation or whatever. Um, so I thought that would be really cool to get on together and, you know, chill and hang out and, you know, do stuff craft and whatnot I'd be fun I, I I love hanging out with her though I I really think you guys if you have not already checked her out um, she is in my default description box so she her link will maintain its position in my description box so just take a look at her channel she's incredibly uplifting she's very spiritual she's very faithful like, I just, I admire her a lot for her spirituality, her positiveness, her just, she has an overall great attitude. And um, so, yeah, anyway, we were talking about um, potentially uh, doing lives together. And I told her, I was like, not my channel. Let's go on yours. <laughs> so she's like, you really had a bad experience with lives, didn't you? I was like, I don't know that it was a bad experience with lives. I think it was just like a combination of a lot of drama plus I didn't really know how to handle stress in my life so at the time so I personally wasn't handling it well I think is more of the thing and I'm not there yet I am a lot better than I was for sure I think oh and by the way um, I didn't do that bad for Thanksgiving dinner it was actually really cool so I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, like, what in the world did I eat for Thanksgiving dinner, right? Because, you know, I'm on this whole healthy kick and losing weight and quit smoking. By the way, I've not had a cigarette in uh, over 24 hours, which is amazing. Um, but for dinner, we had, we had a turkey. Um, my husband, Wayne, he smoked the turkey. Oh, that was so good, by the way. It was yummy. We also had a small ham because my oldest daughter, she doesn't particularly like uh, turkey and she wanted a ham. So we got a small ham and I mean like a little itty bitty, it's pre-cut spiral ham thing. Yeah, that's what we got. So anyway, um, I made potato salad 
and the main ingredient for the creaminess was actually Greek yogurt and it was really good um, so I actually went through and I replaced um, pretty much anything that I had like the ingredient called for mayonnaise I replaced it for Greek yogurt and it was really good um, we had normal stuffing like uh, we actually do stove pop because I really really like stove pop stuffing my daughter made it and she actually used the drippings from the turkey from the smoker and oh oh my goodness it was so good it was just so so yummy um, I don't even know how to explain it. It was really good. Um, we had roasted asparagus and Brussels sprouts. I mean, we normally do vegetables like that anyway. Uh, let's see. We had deviled eggs. Oh, and banana pudding. And yes, I had a bowl of banana pudding. And yes, it was over 600 calories. And yes, I enjoyed it. Just saying. Anyway. <laughs> um, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I thought that, you know, I was going to gain like three pounds in one day. I didn't. I didn't at all. I was like, what? Crazy. It was a 0.2 pound fluctuation. It was just, it was crazy. Um, so I'm just finding all of the, because there's one of each in each of my signatures. So I have this one and then I have one more to do. Oh crap, I forgot to, oh, I don't know where that was. Um, I don't know. We'll just put it here. Um, so anyway, yeah, I was, I was pretty excited because I was excited to try a bunch of different things, you know, with the Greek yogurt instead of the mayonnaise, uh, cause we're always trying new things. Like all of my kids, they are really good about trying new things and trying things that are different. Um, like if we had access to snails, they'd probably try that too. Um, but we don't really have access to it because, you know, we don't have like a genuine French cuisine restaurant nearby. And even if we did, my husband's not allowed to go. So like he's not allowed to go anywhere where you sit down, go inside. Like he's not even supposed to go to Subway. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I'm blowing on this just a little bit because the last time I didn't, uh, this part here stuck to the inside. But it's gesso. It dries like super duper quick, especially if you only use like a thin layer. It does not take too long to dry at all. Anyway. So what did you guys have for Thanksgiving? Like what was your favorite dish that you had? Do you have a favorite? Uh, what do you make every single year? Um, and like I said, uh, today is Friday, so it's only the day after Thanksgiving for me. You guys are going to see this Monday. Um, I do like being ahead on the videos. That way it gives me a little bit of free time to kind of think about what it is I want to record. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, I figured I'd just come on and chit chat with you guys for a little while. Um, see what was up. Why did I do that? See what was up and, you know, how you guys like the challenge. The challenge is over now. Um, so far, I think I'm going to keep the videos at 20 minutes, though, because um, analytically speaking, the views seem to be higher when my minute count is lower, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to keep it at 20 minutes for now. Sorry, I thought someone was behind me. Um, you know, it's funny. I was painting the cover to this journal, not this, but, um, the cover to my journal that I'm making. I don't know if I'm selling it or not, but anyway, I was painting it and, um, okay. So here's a story for you guys. I had tried, I was looking for, um, some masks for my stomach specifically to try to, you know, ease up on the stretch marks a little bit. Cause I have a lot of stretch marks on my belly. Um, and I was just looking for, you know, I'd seen a lot of masks, uh, kind of like facial masks, but for your belly. 
And Wayne was like, we have something like that already. And I was like, oh, we do? Because I, there was a time in my life where I was buying all kinds of crap. I had no idea what I was buying. Uh, and that's how I get when I get like super anxiety. I go into a really bad anxiety attack. I, I do that. Anyway, uh, luckily it's not very expensive stuff. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, we'd probably have issues. So anyway, he's like, yeah, we have something like that. I was like, oh, okay, where's it at? And so anyway, we got it. And it's like a little charcoal mask or whatever. So it's like um, the, the paste that you kind of have to put together and then put on your face. Mind you, this wasn't for my face. It was for my belly. So I put, I make the paste with the, the powdery stuff that they give you. And they tell you to use, uh, oh, I put paint on my band. Oh, this thing is awesome. It cleans off really quick or really easy. Anyway, um, so they tell you to use like apple cider vinegar. So we did that. And uh, so I put the paste on my belly and I felt really dumb with my shirt like up. So I was like, I really want to put my shirt back down. Um, can you like help me wrap up my belly with saran wrap? So he did. <laughs> I looked like a complete idiot and it was the funniest thing, but he did. And so after an hour, because I sat there for an hour, it's not like I was sitting there for 10 minutes or whatever, because then I just would have sat there. No big deal. But to stand up and just stand there for an hour, I was like, yeah, I can't, I'm not doing this. So he wrapped up my belly. I put my clothes, like put them, like put my shirt back down and uh, whatnot so I could go sit in my office. So I sat in my office, my timer went off. Oh, cancel. Um, sorry. Um, so my timer went off and whatnot. And then I went to take the mask off. Oh my word, that thing made such a huge mess. I had little pieces of uh, mask all over my bathroom floor. It was ridiculous. So I got in the shower, got out of the shower, and I was like, oh, I feel great. I'm going to come in here and paint my journal. So I came in here and painted my journal. I came back in and I was like, hey baby. And I did that. And he's like, you do know that you're supposed to put the paint on the cover, right? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got paint on the cover, but my hands looked like this five minutes after I got out of the shower and it was the funniest thing. So anyway, I normally don't have stories for you guys, but that one was funny. So I figured I would tell you, um, at least I thought it was funny, I guess, because I was in the moment and it was just, especially like the whole wrapping with saran wrap. That was just like the most ridiculous thing ever. But hey, it worked. I didn't get a lot of the mask on my clothes, which, you know, I mean, I don't think it really would have mattered though, because it's just, I mean, when I got in the shower, the water just kind of like dissolved the mask or whatever. So it was fine. Um, so I don't think it really mattered, but yeah, it was hilarious and funny and exciting and anyway all of that big old long story also I could tell you about my paint on my hands I know it's ridiculous so anyway I think we might have one more to do yes and I think that might be 20 minutes we might go over a little bit more I don't know I haven't decided yet but like I said I just wanted to come on here hang out with you guys chit chat and I figured I would turn the camera on while I'm sitting here painting these things anyway. Um, oh, and you want to know something really bizarre? I can answer my phone with my watch. That's hilarious. My watch is actually dying. That's what that noise was a minute ago. It's like, plug me in. Plug it in, plug it in. I probably shouldn't do that. I'd be like, here, copyright infringement. I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, by the way. Have you guys ever ran across like an Etsy shop um, or whatnot that very blatantly has like copyright protected items for sale in digital form? Like, has anybody ever done that? And if you have, what do you do? Like I've sent a message to the owner just to kind of like let them know just in case they legitimately didn't know, but it's no one that at least I don't think it's anyone that you guys know because it's a brand new shop, like just opened, uh, not American from Taiwan, I believe. And, um, yeah, so, but they were selling digital copies of the flower fairy postcards. 
um, you can't do that. The flower fairies are very much protected by copyright. Like they are, it, like relatively speaking, they're new. Um, so yeah, you, you can't do that. Um, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I sent them a message. Um, I have no idea if they're going to answer me or not. They haven't answered me to this point. I sent them a message this morning because, so the reason that I found them is I was looking for, um, digitals to, um, like fussy cut because this journal is actually, why do I keep doing that? This journal is actually like, um, going to be, uh, like fantastical. Um, I guess I can probably, well, no, I better not. Um, I was going to say I could probably show you the cover, but I better not. And I can definitely show you when it's done. Like once it's already constructed, yeah, I can show you all day long. You figure it out just on the picture of what it looks like. That's on you, not me. I did what I was supposed to. And I even credited her for her lesson, which is where I learned how to do it. So uh, anyway, I was looking for uh, digitals that I could fussy cut because as you guys know, I do graphic design myself. So why don't you just design something, right? Wrong. There are not a lot of um, public domain fantastical images. And if they are, they're very cartoony. Like they are not mystical or um, elegant. They are very cartoony, like Tinkerbell cartoony or Flower Fairy even. And that's just not the style that I was looking for with this particular journal. So I started digging around on Etsy and that's when I ran across this particular shop and I was like, ooh, that is a big no-no. And so I actually linked in the message. I didn't, I wasn't just like, hey, you're you know, you're infringing on the copyright laws. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not mean like that. I mean, some people say I'm rude, but to me, that's just mean. And I wouldn't do that. I was just like, you know, hey, just in case you didn't know, um, the flower fairies are protected by copyright. And here's the link to the website. Um, and it's the flowerfairies.com, just in case you're wondering. Um, and you can look up their terms of use, which is, you know, the protection and everything under copyright or whatever. Um, but like I said, I don't think it's any shop that you guys might know. I've never even heard of them. They were brand new, just opened up in 2020. Um, they had, you know, over a thousand sales already in less than a year. Um, and it's probably because of the images that they're selling because it's all like, they're all images that you can't get anywhere else because they're protected by copyright. But I was talking to Wayne and I was like, you know, this really stinks because I know the images that they're using, or excuse me, I know that the files that they're selling are copyright infringement, but that's because I have done a ton of research on copyright. I mean, I've spent hours and hours and hours and hours researching copyright and um that's the only reason i know um so anyway um i was like i feel really bad because these people that are buying these images to like put in their journals and sell they are unknowingly infringing on copyright like they don't know it. They're, I mean, obviously they're still breaking the law, but they have no idea. They don't know. And that's why I feel really bad because someone is probably going to say something to them. And, um, this happened a couple of years ago, actually. Um, do you guys know, uh, Tracy Fox? She actually has a video out explaining almost the same thing, um, where someone had made a comment to her about, how she was, you know, using material that she wasn't allowed to use or whatever. And so she did some research and because someone told her that she couldn't use flower fairies at all, which that's not true. If you buy the book, you can use them all you want. You can use the actual, just like if you buy a paper cog from Stamperia, 
you can use that paper in whatever project you want. Now you can't scan it and then use it again. I, I mean, you can't do that. That's, that's a no-no. But you can use the tangible item to create more tangible items. Anyway, um, so it's happened before. I just feel bad for the people that have bought these files. I'm just wondering if it has ever happened to you guys. And if it has, what do you do about it? Nothing? Like, do you just mind your own business or like what? Because, I mean, I don't want to be rude. But at the same time, I don't want a bunch of people to get in trouble because, you know, something's happening that they are unaware of, you know? So, anyway, let me know in the description box what you guys think about, like, the 95 different subjects that we've talked about today because I, obviously, I cannot stay focused on one thing. So, uh, <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, and we will continue to work on pages so I can get these uh, folded and sewn into their signatures. All right, so anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys all in the next video. Take care.